In this problem, we analyze the function f of x equals 5x squared over the quantity x squared minus 1 to uh, be able to graph the function in the very last step. So the first thing we want to do is determine the symmetry of the function. And we can do this by realizing that this is um, an even function. And I can tell that because each of the terms, 5x squared, x squared, and minus 1, are each even degree uh, terms. So x, the variable, is raised to an even power. Another way of determining this is to find f of negative x, oops, f of negative x, by plugging in negative x for x in the function, and we're going to find that we get exactly the same function back. So since f of x is equal to f of negative x, this is an even function, and that tells me that the graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Next we want to find the y-intercept, so we plug in 0 for x and we find what the y-value is. So f of 0 is 5 times 0 squared over 0 squared minus 1, and since that gives us 0 in the numerator, negative 1 in the denominator, that means we get a y value of 0, so the y-intercept is 0. Now, the next thing we want to do is find the x-intercept or intercepts. You can have more than one for the x-intercept. So I will plug in 0 for y, or f of x, and solve for x. So that means I'm taking the function 5x squared over x squared minus 1, set that equal to 0. Now, I'll start by multiplying both sides by the denominator, and that actually eliminates the denominator. So, now we have 5x squared equals, oops, not 1, 0. Divide both sides by 5, and you can see that x is going to turn out to equal 0. Since we have x squared equals 0, take the square root of both sides, there's no sense in putting plus or minus 0 because it's just going to be 0. So we just get the one value, which is x equals 0, and our x-intercept is 0. Now we could have predicted this because we knew that we had the point zero zero from part 2. So we knew that there was at least one x-intercept that was equal to 0. We were really just checking to see if there were any others. Now let's go to the next step, which is finding the vertical asymptote. So we can find the vertical asymptote by setting the denominator equal to 0. So we have x squared minus 1 equals 0. And I can add the 1 over x squared equals 1. If I take the square root of both sides, remember I have to put plus or minus here, that gives me x equals plus or minus 1. So I get two values, x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. Now normally, um, you know, when you're not entering this on a computer, you would write them out separately because those are both vertical lines. They're two separate lines, so you wouldn't really write it the way they have you do on the computer. Um, I wish they wouldn't do that, but there you go. Next, we want the horizontal asymptote. So what we do is we look at the function 5x squared over x squared minus 1. The numerator has degree 2, and the denominator also has degree 2. That's the highest exponent on the variable. So I'm really just looking at 5x squared and x squared, and my horizontal asymptote is the line y equals, 
and I take the coefficient of the numerator highest degree term and the coefficient of the denominator highest degree term and make that into a fraction and that's just y equals 5. That's how I get y equals 5 there. Now in the next step it says plot points between and beyond the x-intercept and the vertical asymptotes type the y-coordinate for each of the following points. So all I'm doing is taking each of these values starting with negative 4 and substituting it in to find out what that value is. And here, once I finish doing the math, I get 16 over 3. Now I can cheat a little bit because I got 16 over 3 here and I know that this graph is symmetric about the y-axis. I know that positive 4 is going to give me the same result. So I don't have to actually calculate that second value, the um, positive 4. I can just take the answer from negative 4. Same thing with negative 3 and positive 3. I only calculated that once. And then, of course, you plug in negative 1 half to get negative 5 over 3. So now that we have these points, the asymptotes, the intercepts, let's go to the last step where we determine what the graph is. So I have to choose from these three graphs. The first one I eliminate is B because it's not symmetric about the y-axis. That's easy to identify. Both A and C are symmetric about the y-axis. So now I look, um, they have a different horizontal asymptote. So I check the horizontal asymptote is y equals positive 5, and that's what makes A the answer. So now I've completed the problem, and that's how you would work that problem.